giant. Who are you got? Let's go get him. I just smacked him. Kansas and I'm out flying my drone still looking for that buck I had hit the other day and we keep finding more and more signs that this deer is still alive. Oh my god. Oh look at the right side. Look at the right side right how it's been burnt. It, it turns around. Dude. Dude. I think it's living. <laughs> I think it's him. That's unbelievable. Hopefully we have a, what was that it? So we got the same buck on trail camera the next day and a half or so so we felt comfortable that Axel could go chase another one. Out there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you guys have noticed, we're having a snack contest this week. I think I'm up right now by two. I don't know, it's close. Oh! <laughs>
Alright guys, so we just finished up a morning hunt. Tons of action. Um, now, I'm not sure what our game plan is for tonight. We might be sitting back in that hay bale blind or we might be glassing for some Milo. Um, not for some Milo, for some bucks in the Milo. But either way, I mean, what a freaking incredible week. Like, the other day was just absolutely awesome. And there's just been so many, like, high points that, like, just everything about this trip, always worth it, it seems like. Uh, this is one of those things where if you go out, um, just gotta make sure you're enjoying your, your time here, you know, so blessed to be out here with Connor at Fire Creek Outdoors, and tonight, last night, let's finish strong. I never know what to do with my hands. This is my boy Ace. What up, Ace? What are you doing? Dude, look at his nose on this. What are you doing? It's gonna be a hype hunt tonight. Yes. Oh, <laughs> damn it, Alex. So, we're going to finish out the night here. Tomorrow morning, it sounds like I'm gonna be hunting again. Trevor's gonna be filming because Trevor may be. Trevor's flight might be getting canceled to Houston because it's supposed to dump there and it's flooded. So I'm even more excited to kill some deer tonight. So let's get done. All right, so with perfect timing, the cows are starting to roll in right at prime time. So I try to go out there and get them out of the way as quick as I can and as quietly as I can. But while I'm out there doing that, we spot some nice buck in the field. Cows came in, getting ready to bust around. So these bucks wouldn't make a move to come into us, but it's just so incredible being from Pennsylvania, how many deer you can see in one field out in Kansas, let alone how many bucks you can see out in a field in Kansas. But the night ended and we're heading back to Connors for dinner. We got some tenderloin up in, the, up in this crib. <laughs> up in this crib. <laughs> Ain't nothing more redneck than old tenderloin off a big old Kansas whitetail in the kitchen. <laughs> So, freaking uh, pulling these dang stickers off me. I don't know if you've ever been to Kansas and oh, these things, they really get into your skin. 
Yeah. Fun, but we're gonna be eating some back straps here. Really good night. Uh, good bit of a uh, buck out in that field. I mean, we had that that nice. I couldn't tell how old he was. It looked like an eight or ten, working towards us. I mean, he seemed pretty good, uh, but uh, it was just getting a little too light, a little too dark. I mean, for camera light. So, one more morning it looks like. Maybe tomorrow evening. We'll see. But uh, I'm hoping to get her done. <laughs> All right, so on the way down, I actually had the opportunity to pick up my own first Kansas license to uh, go out and teal hunting, duck hunting, stuff like that. But we got a chance to actually go out and try and shoot some doves, but in the end, coming up with zero. trying to get a different perspective and a different camera angle, but uh, I really quickly found out how hard it was to actually find a deer, let alone trying to see Axel and Connor, because it felt like they disappeared for hours. So Connor and I lost the buck, but we finally spot him again in this opening in the middle of the mallow field, and he's facing the other way, and we start hucking towards him.
for that. That was <laughs> sick, bro. Thanks so much for getting us out here, man. Dude, I wish we could have freaking knocked him down, but uh, you saw everything from Trevor filming from back here. We crept down. We couldn't find him for the longest time, and he ended up being... He must have snuck closer. How much? How far did he come from? He came a good oh, 100 yards. 75, 100 yards. Oh, yeah. And he came right here. He was about 80 yards, and he booked it up to this opening up here. And we just we bolted to it because he couldn't hear us with the wind going this way. 40 yards in the field, his butt was facing me. He couldn't take a shot. Oh, dude. I can't freaking believe that. Then he ran in the Milo. I snuck up all this deer 10 yards. Two times I drew back on him. That last time... All I could see was right here and up. Biggest year of my life I've ever had in front of me. Freaking Kansas, bro. Are you kidding me? Kansas. It doesn't get much better than that. Oh, man. You got a 160 inch, five, six year old deer in front of you. So after five great days of hunting with Connor, Trevor finally had to fly out and get back home, and I was heading south to my buddy Hans's to do some filming at his outfitter. Hey, look right there, boy! Look at that. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one you thought. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, you okay, baby. Man. Thank you. You're gonna put your hands on that son of a bitch. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, man. Congratulations, dude. That's a stud. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping. Oh, 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 man. Boy. <laughs> you can pet dudes right there. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. I told you his brow was split. <clears throat> you tucking. After spending some time down there and making some incredible friends, I had to swing back by Connor's to grab a bunch of stuff Trevor was not able to fly back. The night before, though, Connor called me and he was like, hey, you want to hunt in the morning? I'll film you. And I mean, I'm not going to turn that down. He's had some good action the last few days. So, hoping to find something popping up out of the mile or coming out of the, uh, coming out of the woods over here, but hope to see that big buck again. We'll see. So as we're working up on this buck from the other day, Connor mistakenly double taps the record button, cutting the footage and missing what was about to happen. The buck comes 20 yards. I end up taking a shot on him and the rest I'll get to and tell you about after the hunt, but he realizes his mistake, starts recording after the shot when I'm chasing after this deer again.
I was confident with my shot there, but like I said, if it got through them stalks, it almost smelled gut a little bit though, walking up through here. What's that? He could have. Was it watery? I, I mean, I couldn't tell. It was back there. I got. There's got to be more up here if there is some. I just hope it made it. I was trying to tell you, just shoot him in the neck or shoot him somewhere else. What's that? Try to get another arrow in. Yeah, that's why I was trying to get up to him. Yeah, his vitals are also there. You smell that? I'm telling you, I might have got him a little bit back. Check this out, bro. He's he's pumping hard right here. Dude, that gets, that's freaking good, man. Does it? It ain't, it ain't super bright either. Yeah, I don't want to push him. All right, guys, so we found a lot of blood. Like, you can check it out right here. I might have hit him a touch back, but, I mean, there's a freaking ton of it. I think we got ourselves a deer down right now, but we're going to go back and look for the arrow. Um, I'm freaking, dude, I'm stoked right now. Like, I'm shaking like a leaf. Yeah, dude, that got freaking blood everywhere over here. Holy crap, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? That was awesome. We were freaking 20 yards from this buck, 10 yards from him the other night. Came back out here this morning. I didn't think we were going to see anything just with this weather that we got right now. And Connor's just sitting there scouting this left side. He goes, buck, buck, buck. I'm like, it's a big one. Like, no way. He came cutting right over here. We cut through. <sighs> yes! So my dumbass forgets to hit the record button as a giant 160 and comes around in 20 yards axle. So I'm pretty much the best cameraman I know. Um, I'm just really good at getting him in the frame without hitting the record button. So. So as this buck was walking up on me, again, he cut over perfect at 20 yards out and I'm drawn back, waiting for him to take that step into my row, the Milo. But as he goes to take that step into the row, he takes a step past it, and all I can see is the back half of his body. I'm drawn back, and I'm ready to not take a shot, but I'm sitting here thinking, this is my second chance on this deer within three days. I gotta let an arrow fly. So I lean into the Milo and try to shoot up into the Milo to try to get up in the vitals. Dude, look at that right there. It's freaking good. Is that a bubble? Get that out of there. Take that, that yellow leaf down there. It's just bright red. It's just something on the leaf to stain. Is it thick? Looks it. Yeah, it looks, yeah. It looks like in between. Oh my gosh, look at that right there. Did he cut over? He, no. Uh, I lost some. There's a little bit. Oh, right here. He started to cut over. Looks like it at least. Maybe not. Yeah, right here, right all through here. Do you look at all that right there? All right, so we've been following a blood trail, man. 500 yards, maybe more, 600 now that we're through the woods. And it's been good, like, tons of blood. It's a little trickly down through the woods, but when he's walking through the Milo, man, it is covered. So we just kicked him up, though. With all that blood, you wouldn't think he's still alive, but we kicked him up, and he was really slow moving up through here, so... We're gonna back out and come back after lunch and look for this deer. So. Gonna go look for it. Uh, it is about four o'clock. We have a really good blood trail on it before we left and we kicked it up. So, hoping he bedded down and just passed. It's, I mean, we've been out for four, five, six, seven hours. I can do math. So, I'm nervous. Very nervous. actually ends up hitting the Milo and shooting forward and actually catching the brisket, which we found out later uh, from some trail cam pictures that 
uh, Connor ends up having a month down the road when the buck shows back up. But one of those things, wasn't sure if I would be able to jam that arrow up into his vitals or not from where I was, but had to take a shot on a monster like that once in a lifetime buck. 